Welcome to London, as in London, England. I know that I'm generally known for megalithic sites in Peru and Bolivia, but today, since I'm in London, I wish to explore history that some people will find fascinating. London was the center of the British Empire and has a long tradition relating to banking, Freemasonry, and the Knights Templar. So today our quest is to find a church called the Temple Church, built beginning in the 12th century AD. And we're going to see if we can find some symbols and other things that relate to the Knights Templar and the mysteries that all of that contains. I'm at West Ealing Station, which is here, and I have to get to there. But this gives you an idea of the size. This is the London Underground System. It's incredibly huge. Anyway, that is our quest. It's not going to be too complicated. Let's go find Temple Church. So here comes the train. <clears throat> it's going to take us to the famous Paddington Station. And then from there, without getting lost, I get on another train and I go to Temple. And then from there, I find the Temple. And for those of you who didn't know, the City of London is in fact a corporation. As we see here, this tablet was erected by the Corporation of London. And the symbol used is the dragon. Is it St. George and the dragon? Or is it simply a dragon? So this is clearly an odd part of this huge city because, again, what we're looking for is the Temple Church, going back to a secret society. And oddly enough, this monstrous building here is British American tobacco. So we're going to see what odd things we will discover as we travel looking for the Church of the Templars. Possibly not a good sign, but we'll see. Almost there. See. And in the noise and mayhem of Fleet Street, which is where the major newspapers uh, and lawyers and banks are located, we find this sign. And that's what we're going to follow. And here we are in Inner Temple Lane. This is where we find the Church of the Knights Templar, right on the border of, uh, or just within the city of London, the actual city itself, the corporation. And this is the 12th century church. Now, what most people don't know about the Templars is the fact that they didn't simply go to the Holy Land in order to do pil uh, pilgrimages and to protect travelers. They became incredibly successful businessmen um, and had fleets of ships conducting trade. They became so wealthy that the church in Rome got very pissed off with them so they decided to destroy them and take all of their possessions, including all of the churches. And what you may not know is that it's well thought that the cathedrals of Europe were not built by the church, but by the uh, Templars. The Templars employed the Masons to build them, and all the symbolism that we see in the um, cathedrals of Europe that are non-Christian are in fact pagan 
and it was the Templars' way of telling the church that uh, the Templars believed in the old belief systems, the old religions, but the church got very angry, took all the cathedrals, stuck crosses on them, and owned them to this very day. As I said, the knights were overly successful in the eyes of the church authorities. So all of their lands here in London were taken away from them. And in 1608, King James I gave the church and all of these lands here in this part of the corporation of London to the lawyers. And they still run and own it to this very day.